Alrighty guys, we are back at it. Hi there, it is Mrs. Sturman, aka Maestro Pants here. Uh, and excited to be back for our first day of League of Legends with my husband, bot lane partner and life partner, Coach Hello. Peter, aka Arya Deva. A big hats off to um, Xander, aka Bubble Puppy, who uh, casted that first match. Really nice. Um, and... Yeah, yeah, stepping out of the top lane, stepping into the casting, and doing yes. a fantastic job with it. Yeah, um, uh, and thank you all for those of you who are joining us, maybe getting, uh, we require student watching. I'm throwing a shout out to you, uh, Aiden, so... Um, and if you're new to League of Legends, if you're just checking in, we love having you. Uh, our cat agrees and says hello. Um, so this is game two against... Now, the Baryan Warriors from Temple Academy. Temple Academy, all right. And so we see um, some interesting picks coming out here. We told them that they can, you know, kind of mix and match, especially depending upon the bands, so that um, Swain band coming out against an actual bird, very strong um, dominant support, and that's understandable, along with that Zoe, Blitzcrank, Pike. It looks like they're really targeting those engage supports um, and they did an see bird. in the bottom lane you know the all the lanes had a lot of pressure but in the bottom lane those picks coming out um was uh something that they really want to make sure it doesn't happen again and the ophelio is something that gorf has played quite a bit coming out with the ban in both games now i was about to say i'm excited to see the fiora but i'm used to seeing that with uh bubble puppy playing it so i'm excited to see uh groovin well, is Grubin playing it? Grubin's Grubin playing in the top lane. Okay, um, yeah, so. and we got uh, some new recruits here excited about our team for this season. Um, so that Fiora is still top. Looks I, like... I would assume that the Fiora is top. We we do have an interesting meshing of champions. That's that, true. That's true. That I, I'm waiting to see. I'm expecting the Ramus to come out here if I had to guess at what will be picked. Um, and that will be a Ramus in the support role, an actual bird special, if you will. Yes. Something that he really loves playing. And that he actually does play um, in, you know, in in various games uh, with with his teammates, um, not official games, but so so he he. he He's excited. We'll we'll see how this one. I, I believe comes. that he he says he likes to vroom. Vroom. Yes. So yeah. something that Ramus can definitely do. Vroom. I mean, and that's nice if you get that migrating um, from as a support, and you can go and roam to mid lane and all around. It makes the other laners keep on their toes, especially if they establish that a uh, strong lead uh, in that bot lane. Absolutely, and we see a decent amount of. Uh, Switching up of the lane dynamics here, obviously the Azir Ramus, not something you will typically see in the bottom lane, but something that actually does have a decent amount of threat, especially as we get to those points of level six where uh, the Sharima Shuffle, as it's so lovingly mm -hmm. called, can come out and use that Azir ultimate to scoop back in, not even one, but two members, and the Morgana only able to black shield one of them away mm -hmm. from that. Mm -hmm. um, so that's something you can kind of play with, the Ramus going in, isolating out that black shield, drawing it out, and having the Azir scoop him out. So um, They then... will they will have to be careful in bot lane just to play around the Caitlyn traps uh -huh. and the binding, uh, things like that, but it's definitely... So, Caitlyn Morgana actually something infamous for being able to utilize the Dark Binding from Morgana best out of almost any bot lane because mm -hmm. the binding is so long that you can always, almost always, even if you're you're pretty far out of range, get a Caitlyn Trap down. If you can get that combo, Caitlyn Trap, Caitlyn Q, Headshot, then Hedge. it can either force out a sum or just 100 to zero you once you have some items. So... Uh, we do, again, see some unique co picks coming out elsewhere. The Gangplank mid is something that you do see sometimes. So um, into the Ari, he does have that orange he can eat to take away the charm. So that is, uh, in mm -hmm. some cases, actually a pretty decent matchup. Don't want to get the, scurvy as a pirate. Definitely not, no. I mean, or is anyone, I guess? charms is, you know. Uh, Charming maybe, scurvy. Yeah, exactly. Um, so... Uh, the Mordekaiser are coming out in the jungle. That is something that was buffed quite a while ago. Uh, so something you don't see often, but it does have a decent clear with the passive buffs that he did get coming out from Riot. Um, and it looks like it, it looks like it will be if you're a top. Uh -huh, and we did see the Urgot kind of switching sides this time. So mm -hmm. 
Groove and Peruvian having to play into what he just played. We'll see how he deals with that. And the, the cane coming out for um, the jungler on the side of the warriors. So uh, we'll see if he chooses to go for the red evolve or the blue evolve. I would imagine into such a uh, bruisery slash uh, tanky team, he would want to go for that red cane for the control and CC in the team fights. Uh, you know, you're not probably going to be popping almost anyone on the side of the Cybercats because the Azir has the mobility even though he's squishy. Uh, the Gangplank has his own uh, ability to heal and move a little bit more quickly. Everyone else on the team kind of able to fend that off, so we'll see what happens. Yep, absolutely. Now the real question, while we're waiting for this spectator delay of another 30 seconds, is what skins will they go? Because what Skinner G wins we covered games. it very well last time you oh know, you did oh yeah, i'm we, so proud we actually had a dc at the, <laughs> my the legacy is where, done uh they had a longer load time than usual so we we got it all out <laughs> there we we talked about the the faker synergy from the the top mm -hmm. in the jungle coming out mm -hmm. with no skins mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. making sure they could assert their dominance as they did in the <laughs> game. and uh, for those of you who don't know faker is arguably the best pro player in league of legends that there's been um to date so uh, and if you want to also place the, oh, nice. We have a shout out to Blake Cassie, our former, uh, JV captain listening to league in the car. Love it. Love the support from our, um, our alums and they still play with our current members and we like to do 5v5s and things like that. So we do have the skins coming out here. Big ooh, stuff. Ooh, okay. Okay. Let's see. Ooh, Infernal Mordekaiser. That's just a cool skin. That's a cool Fiora skin. Sailor Gangplank. Nice. It. Ooh, cool Azir. We'll have a Ninja Rambus. Okay. We'll have to see uh, what, what chromas and things like that they went. I don't know. Popstar Ari when you could have... KDA Ari, you know, I'm just... That's the same thing that Bubble Puppy said. He's like, well, like Popstar Ari coming right. out, I'm not sure that that's the best Ari skin to go. No, so, and then again, no. there are so many Ari skins that out there. That is true, that you is know? true. Um, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna hate on it, Stranger No Way. You do you, man, and whatever works for you. Uh, I... It is true that sometimes players, certain skins, or lack thereof, does help. Um, I know that when I play Nami, depending upon the skin, I have like a higher bubble landing percentage. Hey, you know, sometimes you just get used to it. You get used it's to true. those animations. You get used to the way the it colors. feels, looks, sounds. Uh, sound is a big thing, actually, that yep. I've noticed in some skins where you can actually, you know, not cheat, so to speak, but you can get a little bit better of a feel for it because it's like, oh, I have a Caitlyn headshot because I hear this loud uh, buzzing noise on the Pulse Fire skin or something like that. Mm-hmm. That's true. Let's see. Cool. All right. Just checking that we have all the links posted and so on. Uh, what about these runes and masteries and um, Well, I did want to give one spells, last skin like shout out for oh. our very own Ramus aficionado. Um, so Ninja Ramus is uh, his, fam his favorite and uh, oh. infamous Ramus skin among the server. So special shout out to an actual bird for having Ninja Ramus. And nice. If only map. we had uh, Kenan top and then could just make entire ninja. It's true. It's true. Uh, ninja team. A little, little shinobi team going that's, on. So. That's actually really cool. Urgot skin. I had not seen that one before. Yeah, so that's and I like that. Out. Yeah, I like that um, Morgana skin. I like the Morgana rework they did a couple patches ago, a fair number of patches ago. So, there. Okay, okay. We let them um, flash the mastery this that a little bit sometimes towards the beginning, not the when they're. They can't see them right now. They can't so. see them. So we we always tell the students make sure you style with your actions not um and by actions we mean like play and your skills you know make sure that you're being a good sportsman and things like that so this is just them playing around with each other but again the other team can't even see it so they're not uh trying to flex with the mastery which is sometimes a thing yeah we actually saw the same thing from the side of the warriors last time when they're going to that blue buff they were flashing their bot lane masteries and uh so it's just something people do, you know, a little bit of yeah. personal fun for the team before the game. We do see again in the top lane that Ignite coming out from the Urgot. So this matchup does play out a little bit differently than the one we saw in the last game with the Fiora really being a hyperscaling champion. 
one that uh, you want to make sure you're just farming up on, doing well on in the early game. The Urgot having a little bit more early power, especially with that Ignite, that's something the Fiora will want to watch out for. Make sure he doesn't give away that lead at the beginning, because he will inevitably scale. Uh, pretty standard starts mm -hmm. here. The bot blue lanes reaching blue and red. We'll see how they move up. And we did get a ward on the red again, just like they did on the blue side last time from the side of Hilliard, making mm -hmm. sure there's no cheeky little invades coming out. I do like the music notes, actually, and the pop star Ari. I'm taking that back a little bit. You do you, Stranger Noah. I'm liking all the little... Yeah, they, they come out from the Eighth orb no notes. matter where. And then there we go, okay. Once you, once you actually cast the Q, you get the staff and everything. So. Okay, I take it back. That's nice. That's nice, all right? We learn something every day, folks. Yeah, we pop um, stars. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so it seems like your typical starts here. Up a little bit of spice. Groove and Peruvian just asserting his dominance in lane, but nothing too much. And the level two here coming out for mm -hmm. the bottom lane, getting a nice trade-off. Oh, not many in there too much, but that was really nice. Um, getting some good damage chunked down on Morgana. Yeah, just threatening with that. He's not going to go under the turret with it, but still getting the trade out. The potion's being popped now, binding down. Mm -hmm. Let's see. They also now are joining them, level two. This cannon probably going to go over to Actual Bird with the proc of the item. We can see the Urgot does have the push early in this top lane like we were talking about. It's a, a little bit easier for him to exert his pressure. Ooh, maybe not wanting to go on that much, but get again the stun off on Gruber Peruvian. That actually was a nice amount of damage. Yeah, and again, uh, the Fiora going into those trades, opting into those trades, uh, unless she is able to get the parry, uh, she's probably going to lose that trade. So mm -hmm. it needs to be careful as this is starting out here. And uh, Top Scuttle being already started up by the Mordekaiser. He does not have priority in either lane, so I don't think the Kane is going to get here in time to contest this. Uh, and given that he doesn't have that priority, a nice takeaway here. Mm -hmm. uh, both mid laners running pretty low on mana and... Just happy to kind of farm it up as they... Oh, we might have a gank. Oh, yep. We got Mordekaiser coming in and pulling it in. We got the flash out from the RA. Nicely done. Walking away. But we'll see if there's a return gank later to take advantage of that flash. Meanwhile, some trading in top. We'll see how the Fjord does or got stand in there a bit. But getting a lot of damage off getting the flash out from Groovin. And, and again, we, we come back to it where... It's not really a matchup that you can trade into at this point in the game. We saw the Urgot actually had almost no mana, had to wait for mm -hmm. mana to even be able to cast his W because it's not fully leveled up yet, and uh, still lost the trade even once the Conqueror propped and had to burn his flash. So uh, we did have a trade of flashes. We got it from that middle lane, and uh, it's now down in the top lane. So something for both junglers to be keeping an eye on. Yep. I also wanted to mention we see the Dark Harvest coming out from this cane. That is typically what you'll see with Blue Cane. So it sounds like he's... Looking for that ability to be an assassin and maybe Might looking be looking for... for a gank. Thinking about it. Thinking about it. Thinking about not it. I think I saw a vision ping um, coming out. Though Red Side does not have the try warded yet. Nope. Oh, that was a nice binding landing. A good damage down onto Azir. Getting a little back with the level up. Yep, and we see it as just the level one binding coming out from the Morgana, so not nearly as long as it will mm -hmm. end up being. It feels like forever in late game. I it mean, does, you it feel does. like you're just stuck there. And she is also uh, maxing it first, so it will be getting up there relatively quickly. And Not a lot of vision down there, um, or up there in the top river. Let's see, Urgot still doing some of the damage while they trade, trying to take control of this wave. Potion popped by Groovin. Yeah, good proc there on the vital. Um, he actually hasn't gotten his first back off yet, and the Urgot has gotten his. Uh, up in CS, so he's yep. in a pretty good spot, you know, as long as he doesn't get that flash capitalized on. Uh, if you are happy to scale up here. And uh, also up in CS, that is Zier taking a substantial lead in mid lane, um, over 20 CS lead to the Gangplank. So, you know, Hill Hilliard Cybercat's okay with just farming this out and taking some leads, uh, you know, getting some flashes and 
and we'll see where it goes from there. Uh, you is, see already over 1K lead. Yep, it is worth saying that their entire composition scales extremely well. Mm -hmm. um, the Fiora scales very well, as we already talked about. The Gangplank, notorious for those insanely large crit no. barrels. Um, and again, an actual bird just kind of zooming in and out of the brush. Or and I mean, Rambus has actual scales. Yeah, he does right? have, he does or, have a yeah. shell, you know, and, and scales. Um, Scaly so. skin turtles, right, have like... Yeah, yeah, he has he yeah. has them on the arms. He has them. Yeah. Uh, so so he's a uh, rock in the scaling either way. But uh, in terms of the the gameplay he will provide in the later game, he really doesn't lose his utility and actually gains it as he gets those items because I don't know if any of you have seen how fast Aramis can eventually move, but he uh, fast boy. He he's a very fast boy, and so he can get those engages off in the later stages. And again, having that too also on the support gives you some more options for roaming um, and just map awareness, especially with the Gangplank alt is nice. Yep. And... The ability for some global pressure and roaming plays to Some be back time now. People taking some back cane, getting his red buff. Checking out, again, the gold differentials and the items. That mid lane CS difference is not, I am and top and bottom. I mean, that's, those and are pretty the substantial. Really. Um, the jungle is pretty even here, but across mm -hmm. the board, we can see the difference in that. Is Drake. actually going to give the Drake to the Warriors because of the reset mm -hmm, timing mm -hmm. here, but in the top lane, they'll all in. Yep, Groove Improving, getting in, getting the first blood onto that Urgot. Nicely done. Bot lane, I'm not sure about that one. Return kill on Gorf kind of went into them, maybe checking to see what was going on. Um, and they said, howdy do, goodbye to you. Uh, but... First blood, extra gold going over to Groovin, and he is able to get some work done on that top turret. Yeah, he's going to get at least two plates here, and that is massive for the fuel yes. that does scale so well. And I think they just didn't know how many people were on that dragon. They didn't yeah. expect all four to be here. Well, Flash in on the rim is trying to get that engage. Zier coming back with a vengeance. Remember, they have bought Flash and Exhaust out. Um on to the Caitlyn, but she had flashed out of that way, so even exhausted, it was okay. Uh, again, trying to return back with the pressure, making advantage of the item um, from when they had backed. So now yeah, the they'll item, just push item it from in. when they had backed, and I think what the go button was there is the black shield was down, because I didn't see the mm -hmm. Morgana ever use it, so I think an actual bird saw his opportunity and took it and did force out the flash from that Caitlyn, yep. which makes it very dangerous now that she uh, is down that summoner. Yeah, and he's still looking for it. They have that warded, so he's not going to... But I mean, even look now, if you tell, the difference in speed, he's already starting to move, um, and... I've watched an anime about running, so you know, I, I feel like. An actual bird I'm is just embodying this. that, you know? <laughs> Yeah, meanwhile, Mordecai's are doing a nice job um, keeping his eye on these neutral objectives, having on the Drake, now turning to Rift. Fiora coming back, saying, That's my turret. There we go. We did see her get that TM out, and she has the Caulfield's Warhammer, so she's going to have a much easier time pushing this lane and maybe an attempt at a gang. Mm -hmm. Don't yeah, think you coming in. Want that. Nice pull, just again, asserting dominance. Mm -hmm. Just showing off the pressure, saying, I have the Herald and maybe I'll use it. Yes, and, and dropping it. Maybe trying to get that first turret yep, down. So, what they're doing here is just securing that turret as long as Fiora can push in this wave, which there's not going to be a contest for. The Herald will take that in a single charge. So, just walking into range. Nice, sure very nicely gold. done. First turret over to Hilliard Cybercats. Yep, great use of the first Herald there. Yep. Allows this Fjord to, again, have a little bit more more mobility around the map. Now that the top lane is a bit of a longer lane, lets you get some different kind of minion control out. And let's see, Gangplank putting some deep vision, I think, down in there along with a barrel. Uh, yeah, Kane is hovering. Cane. Yep. After, and, and sorry, I misspoke. Kane got the dragon, but then Mordecai's are getting that Herald dropping it top. Nice map awareness from both junglers. And Groovin, meanwhile, top, has killed and keep working. Says, this is my lane entirely. Do a quick little replay there, see what happened. Oh, a little Wow. Back, so. I mean, as an Urgot, you have to feel badly because the difference in damage looks so bad. But Fiora loves the 1v1. I mean, she's the dueling champion. Um, and so oh, able to get that back. Here, oh, let's see. Oh, landing the root. That was a beautiful root. Um, as you're trying to get away with it. Good flash, but it didn't save him yeah, getting we're gonna, that. We're going to hop Caitlyn. back to live right after Fiora takes hop, this top hop, lane hop. turret. 
And again. Okay, we're hopping back to live. It looks like the same. Urgot smashing on uh, the Fiora, but realizing he does not want this. And again, Fiora, like uh, like Coach Peter has said before, if you let her scale and you oh, let her get big, though. it's scary. Ram is coming in, trying to get slowed down, but getting not quite getting that. Lens the taunt onto the Caitlyn. Mordecai's are pulling in. Let's see. And it jumps back. Mid lane, we got some action. Aspenoob says, why, hello. I will kill you, Kane. Um, again, that was like a little bit of a lack of vision that he didn't see. He was walking into him, and he got that kill uh, because of that. Meanwhile, Fiora... Says, all right, let's push this all the way into base. All right, and we do see now a uh, about a 5k gold differential coming out. So, um, not as big of a lead as the Cybercats had the last point uh, in the uh, in the last game at this point in the game, but uh, still trying to push their advantage forward. Uh, and we also had that first Drake coming out mm -hmm. for the side of the Warriors, so um, they'll want to be setting up around this next Drake. Um, because it is coming up soon and see if they can secure that second one for themselves. Mm-hmm. Urgot switching down to bot lane says, I'm done with this Fiora, <laughs> and I do not blame him. Um, so we will see. I wouldn't be surprised if the Fiora swaps down here uh, yep, pretty exactly. soon because you see she does have the TP. Caitlyn Morgana going top. Um, this might be answered by the Cybercast after this next back. Yep, so after the, the Drake objectives goes down, that's uh, typically when you'd want to switch the person with TP to that side of the map so they can contest the next one coming up. Mm -hmm. Ooh, but staying here, Orgot stepping forward a little too much, able to get rid and get, get himself to safety. Um, and actually just saying, I want the safety of my own base, and this turret will well, go down go to Cybercats. Oh, Aspnew coming in on the Gangplank, able to get that Kane. Let's see, Kane popping the potion and trying to get off. Smite ulting, ulting, but it's not going to do enough. Yep, still goes down to the Gangplank. Uh, meanwhile, Ari trying to come in, flashing out, but heal out, but not making it. So close, very, oh, Kaylin all coming in, but there are too many members. It's not going to do too much. Morgana trying to help out, Gangplank all coming in for the slow. They will probably be able to make it to the safety of their turret now, but that red buff is gone. Yeah, two fights going on simultaneously there. We actually saw kind of like merged into one. Yeah, the Mordekaiser are in the death realm. That's why uh, the, mm -hmm, the, mm -hmm. the Q didn't land from an actual bird when it might have looked like from the spectator it would have but um as he came out a great taunt to secure that kill as soon as he came out of the death realm so uh well executed fight on both sides and uh the red buff did end up on the mordekaiser so yep and um, now the dragon is going over to cybercats as well so one drake on each team and it looks like we have a cloud drake coming up yep the cloud soul the cloud rift it is all clouds and uh could say we're on cloud nine. We, we, we could say that the Cybercats are probably feeling like they're on cloud nine right now. Um, Sneaky, best player NA. Exactly. And Ruben right? uh, <laughs> Peruvian, Peruvian saying that this is now my jungle. You know, I have enough pressure in this top side. I'm taking your blue buff. I am just yep. 1v2ing Ooh, you. Ooh, 1v2ing, going in for that. Yep, he let's did miss see. The, uh, he missed the repost there. If he had hit that repost on the Morgana, it would have been different. It's now Getting, a 3 Yeah, one, got though. the root down there. Let's see, Kane coming in. And this might be a little too much. No, dodging around. Good dodge of the Morgana Q. Let's see. Ooh, that was a very nice Zonia stopwatch from the Morgana. I didn't know that was a thing. But double kill going over to the floor. Can he live? Oh! Then switched over the Caitlyn of the last auto, getting that shutdown. That'll be a nice shutdown for her. Yeah, very, very close on the 1v3 outplay, but did end up going down in the end. And a, a very big shutdown going to the Caitlyn. That's definitely going to fill her pockets with a little bit more items. And she is actually 2 0 1 coming out here. So, Ooh, uh, stream a shuffle. Lane. Stream of Shuffle, that's what uh, what we were talking about before. You see the Ramus Taunt into that Stream of Shuffle. Now there's only one person there, um, but... And so that shutdown did actually allow the Caitlyn to finish her Mythic before the Azir. I'm assuming he's going to be able to buy his when he goes back here because he is still up in gold. Um, but really kind of getting her back into the game in terms of her pacing of her items. Yep. And Bater going down now again along with this wave. Ooh, nice charm landed by the Ari onto the Gangplank. He is pretty tanky though at this point, so he oh, does Kane. not care too much. King coming in, landing that. Naga, let's see. Mordekaiser dancing around, doing some damage. And Kane did end up going for the red form. So even though he took the Dark Harvest, I think he might have said to himself, hey, we need this CC, we need this. 
a little bit tankier setup on our team and I'm not going to be able to assassinate them. Blue cane is something you typically more see when you're playing from ahead, so uh, mm -hmm. smart adaptation by him if that's what he ended up doing. Um, Slayer fan 666. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, um, uh, the, the second Herald going down, it should be down momentarily. They'll get it in plenty of time before the Baron spawns. And Grooving we'll Peruvian, forgetting that he's not jungler in this game. No, I'm just kidding. That's a good take from him. He has the time um, and, and has the ability are covering to the do area it. Too yep. and making sure he's safe. Again, checking out his uh, jungle lane, his jungle, which is now everything, is his jungle. Meanwhile, we have another one of our cats coming in to say hi. All of our cats, actual cyber cats, right, Figaro? Mau Mau? All right, and Ram is rolling in, yeah, in rolling stationary. In Right. Oh, Urga wants Ooh, this. Ooh, yes. Uh, let's Does see Kane coming in. I don't know the talent lands. We'll see. It's going down pretty quickly. All right. Oh, but now team has collapsed. Gangplank all coming in for the slows and binding landing there. Let's see. Ram is stuck. There's the Death Realm. Death Realm. That's why they're fuzzy looking. We'll see what happens there. Ooh, Shreem, oh, that splash. was crazy. Oh, Ramus. Ramus wants Ramis it. Wants He's a it. fast boy. He asked it up, but I don't know if he wants it until his teammates come. Oh my gosh! Yes, Aspnu was able to come in right before he died. Got oh. that down. Oh. Kane, tick, tick, goodbye. Um, but that was that was close. There was some crazy stuff. Can you rewind back to what happened with the flash and the Sharima shuffle? I mean, this it might be a, the end of the game. It was so. an instant, instant flash when the Sharima shuffle went Yeah, off, so that was that it. was crazy. And it was the Leandri's burn that finished Ooh, that flashing in to get the kill. Fiora styling Reviews points here. there. Yep. Take Taking the Herald Shelly or Herald D. This oh, is the Gorf second one. Down, Let's see. Surprised. Or got all comes in. Five hundred gold shut down there. Asp noob bringing in the charge. Bringing in the uh, the minions to middle turret. We did see a Grim Peruvian turret. though, uh, as the kill was coming down onto Gorf. Uh, he got the Ari back for himself. So the next Cloud Drake coming up momentarily. Uh, we'll see if they just want to keep the pressure up on the base or if they are going to go for that third Drake of the game. Really quickly, can you uh, rewind back to that team fight so we can? See it very quickly. Let's see Maybe. if I can find exactly where it was. Yeah, yeah so we're, what we're going to see here is the flash come out instantly from the Shurima Shuffle, I believe, is uh, what you wanted to see. Mm -hmm. Along with the Death Realm, like, overlaid, it just was very, very, a lot of good stuff going on. And then you'll see Azir come on here. Right here, the Morgana. We're going to see the... Instant flash out right as the shot. Yeah, that's comes beautiful. Through, that's so. a that's a very nice flash with that. And then Mordecai coming is coming back. back. To the here. Yep, very nice. Alright, back to where we're at, the action. Not much has happened while we were gone in uh in uh Zillion's little change time there, but um just the Drake going down, the pressure from the super minions in the top lane, and maybe a play now bot. All right, let's see. Oh, it froze a little bit. Okay, there we go. All right, actual bird landing in the taunt onto that cane. Morgana all Morgana coming all down. Morgana all, so, but there we go. Oh, wow, okay, Rue coming in, Gangplank all coming in to do some damage and some slowing down. Oh, but oh, this might Kano. be by Kano coming in and the Caitlyn ult. All right, shutdown's going both ways. Actual bird zooming around. Will he be able to make it through? The cane wants it, the ult, one more auto, he gets it, and then it is answered back by Asp Noob getting a triple kill on that Gangplank. That was pretty spicy. Kane ended up with a double. Yeah, um, there's ending, a lot going on there. Ending up in a two for three at the end of it, but the shutdown coming through, so I, I think the Warriors will definitely take that play. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. Uh, meanwhile, second tier turret going down to Gorf. He's bringing in some minions too. Ari trying to clear them along with Urgod. This will be just the second of the uh, turrets for the base. And again, trying to trying to get this pressure in on all sides. Morgana answering it, and she realizes I don't think I want this. A little safer with Caitlyn nearby. Now I've yet to see uh, any of the siege defending traps trap line laid out. Um, nice landing on that trap uh, from Asp Noob, but yeah, definitely something that's important to do on the Caitlyn, especially when there's no Baron buff or anything like that. It gives you a lot of time to clear out the minions because you have to dance around the traps to be able to walk up for the siege. Mm -hmm. um, it looks like they might be setting their eyes on the Baron now. Uh, Mordekaiser are hovering back towards that side with Azir, maybe just getting the blue buff or maybe looking for more. Yeah, uh, we, having... got, we got a Vroom coming oh, around vroom, here. Vroom, vroom. Zoom Vroom. Let's see. Uh, oh, oh, that was really nice, landing the binding while he was taking he turret aggro. Out. Does it get out? Speeding, no! 
Oh, oh, he gets that. And that that's going to, you got to be careful about getting in, getting stuck under while taking turret aggro. They want it. Let's see. Group improvement going in there. Gorf, dream a shovel. Oh my gosh, that was beautiful. Landing that all the way back there. All right, and into the death realm. Flashing there. He's trying to get him. Let's see if he can. And they're back. All right, charm lands on grooving, and but it's not enough able to get that kill through there. Oh, Let's see. Oh, shot. but that's really nice. If turret shot makes that final one, Afternoon taking the next one. But there are everyone's dead, so there you can't do too much. Kane coming back here, but his friends aren't here, and he's gonna go down two. Both Nexus turrets down. Ace finished out from the gangplank, an extra flash just because. Dropping the word, get that vision score, guys. That's what I say. Yep, drop all your words. That's what I say. And the Nexus goes down. Um, Well played. Really nice Cybercats. And again, great plays from both sides. Um, I think various members on the both teams had some really shining moments. Uh, but overall, map pressure and, and control definitely in the side of the Cybercats for that game. Yeah, fantastic job, and uh, so glad to be back here for yes! this new spring season. We are exciting to be. We are excited. <laughs> we are excited. We, we are exciting too. <laughs> but we are excited to be casting for you all. Excited to be bringing you some good League of Legends from the Cybercats from these other teams, and we hope to see you next time. Yeah, if you are interested in playing for our team, uh, we'd still love to have you. If you are a Hilliard student, um, so please let us know if you're one of the high school students, any Elo. If you're just interested and you have no idea what League of Legends really is, we will start you from the ground up. So um, please just reach out to me, Hannah underscore Sturman at HBOA.org, or you can go to our new website on the Innovation Campus um, and check out some stuff there, including some cool hype videos. So thank you for tuning in. Thanks for watching our League of Legends team in their first games of the season. Then, uh, yeah. Good luck, have fun in life. We'll, we'll see you next time.